The Urban Redevelopment Authority has taken another step in the Lower Hill project. For hours today, the Penguins Development presented the project to city leaders and the community. Nicole Ford is live with a look at what happened. Nicole. Well, Ken, that meeting's actually still going on right now. They're in public comment, but there will be no action taken in this meeting. So what's the point of it? Well, they're actually looking at what the logistics are and what will actually be on the table for the URA's final approval vote next month. Now, if you remember just a few weeks ago, the Urban Redevelopment Authority actually gave the project preliminary approval after hours of discussion. That was just the first step. We're talking specifically about the first national bank tower in the public green space next to it. In total, these two starting points will cost roughly $234 million. The development team took the history of the Hill District into consideration when deciding what this tower will look like. Between the last presentation and this one, the URA board filled out a survey, giving an overview on if the proposal will impact the community positively. We asked do you believe this project and proposed benefits seek to positively affect the Greater Hill District? All seven EMC members that responded to the survey said yes. We asked, do you believe that this project and proposed community benefits align with the needs of Hill District residents and stakeholders? And again, all EMC members that responded to the survey said yes. Now, some business owners from both the Middle and Upper Hill also testified during that meeting today. They believe that this project will actually benefit their business and they can't wait for it to be completed and up and running. Now, construction, if that final approval comes through, will start midsummer. That next board meeting is on June 10th. For now, we're live. Nicole Ford, KDK News.